friends hello welcome back hope everybody's day's been going well we're down to the winnipeg jets on our one year rebuilds here last team in the w's and we go back to the top up to anaheim here winnipeg a team i would expect kind of tough on a salary cap here i would think right i mean they moved a couple guys to open some cap space they still got so many young studs laying around that they're paying now and you got the seasoned bets if you will and shifley as like wheeler also making some money so we'll see what we have to work with here with the winnipeg jets quick shout out to you guys though that do continue to watch the rebuilds and enjoy them i do appreciate you guys this time and we're getting closer to the holiday season here people's schedules get a little bit busier and or they just might want to watch a few more christmas movies so if you're taking the time to watch what's probably a 45 minute hour long video as always i appreciate you guys mightily for that uh shifley though six mil connor seven wheeler eight i mean they're not getting overpaid how much how much cap we got to work with here 1.3 million cop dang cops in 86 there's some players on this winnipeg jets team we might not have to trade for too many guys neil pionk he is a winnipeg jets though why did i think he was a ranger or was he a ranger before he was a jet was that what it was he's a ranger before yeah i think he was a ranger before he's a jet some reason i thought it was the other way around yeah ranger before a jet okay uh pionk's out there we have schmidt we're gonna have a really hard time this is gonna be a team we make very minimal moves with it looks like we can move to mellow dylan there's some cap to be made there let's go take a look at this team uh, we got a stud goaltender got some stud forwards clearly a buyer ea thinks we're a cup contender i agree we should have to make a lot of moves with the winnipeg jets as always when we do these rebuilds if it's a bad team we try to sell the system we got to do what you gotta do if it's a really good team we tried to minimal, minimize, minimalize, minimalize, yeah, like in the word, minimalize the moves. Okay, so Cop's going to be the center for the second line. Okay, all right. I mean, 82 draws, the ball is 60 for 74, so sure. I like what I see here. Ehlers, Shifley, Connor. Yeah, Connor's got an 89. Dubois, Cop, Wheeler. I, if anything, you get a couple guys with the depth. That's what they're really lacking. There's a little depth action. Riley Nash and they're a good bottom six guy, really. Demelo Smith, Morrissey, Pionk, they really need some defense as well. We need a second line defender badly here. I think that's where we start. Let's start second line defender. And if we can wiggle our way into a, a couple of guys for that depth down there, at least one. We got to get rid of the 74 roll, I think, here. Let's take a look. What kind of defenders do we have out here? Why is my screen not moving? There we go. Perfect. Got it. We're good. Just got to be a little patient there sometimes. Quite. No, that's, no, we're not good. I want to do player search. We have proposed trade. We aren't good. It's horrible. That would be all right. <laughs> uh, player search. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Defense. 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 Oh, we got cap to work with to an extent. Uh, we got to go at least, what, 85 plus? I think we got to go 85 plus because we have to have the flexibility. These top line D-men aren't really guaranteed surefire top line defense. And if things go sour throughout the season... That'll give us the ability to go around and, you know, swap the lines out a little bit there if we have to. Salary minimum. What are we doing? I don't want a salary minimum. Uh, I'd definitely like you to be free if that's an option. Let's go to salary maximum. Let's try that again. A little extra action going on here for no reason. Let's try six million. I don't think we can afford six million. We're going to try six million. Adam Fox. We can't afford that because he gets paid next year. We already know that. Charlie McAvoy. Always a good addition there. He's getting four million. I want McAvoy. Okay. I will get Shea Theodore to be better though. He's not as expensive. Chikrin's also a really nice option. Shea Theodore getting paid next year? How many years has he got left? Shea Theodore, Shea Theodore. Oh, no, he's got four years left. Perfect. Chikrin's probably maybe getting paid. I don't know. We're going to go Theodore though. Oh, it's Shea Theodore. Inner division trade doesn't happen too often, especially when it features elite players like Shea Theodore. Oh, yeah. We'll send you Cole Perfetti straight out the door. Cole Perfetti for Shea Theodore. We're going to need to give up a little bit more. No, we can do that. We got that kind of capability here. Oh, they want Brendan Dillon. That's great because you can have him. He is all yours. Take him. You take Dillon and Perfetti for Theodore and I will laugh. They didn't do it. Perfetti could be a stud though. Theodore already is a stud. This game though, a little bit lower overall. Lower overall. Okay, so the Jets pick no value. Hey, that's our pick. It's my Blue Jackets. Jets, do you guys have any picks? They're like, what's a hockey draft? Sure. Yep, gonna reject that. They don't have any seconds. They have, oh, they have some first. They have this second. Yeah, they got this second. They're just trading them away, trying to make some moves. You don't blame them trying to win a cup while they got the players. I don't blame any team for trying that. It looks like we're gonna need a first round pick, though. 
We're going to give up the first for Shea Theodore. Deal, Dylan Perfetti, Theodore trade accepted. May have been a lot. Should have been because we gave up a second and they said no. So a best roster is that. We should have looked to you as Vegas had. I think their team that has some good depth, guys, right? Because they got a lot of cap space laying around. Or a lot of cap and some of them big names on their team. You know, like Jack Eichel. I'd like to see EA's cap predicament, how they're making this work for players. Is that what they did? Did they edit Eichel's cap? He's supposed to be 10 million, right? Is that why Theodore is cheaper? I bet it is. I bet EA pushed these guys under the cap, didn't they? Yeah, Mark Stone, 8.7. Pretty sure he's 9. I feel like that's what they did to make sure. Because it was over the cap. That was the only way they could have made it work. Right? Because there was literally 9 million over the cap. So let's try. Oh, we're taking advantage of it. Why not? Let's try Stevenson. That's too expensive. 750 and wall. Wall might work. Is it Roy? You never know the difference. Wall, Roy. Uh, defensive player a little bit. A little defensive player action there. How about Hutton? Um, Hutton, Hutton, Hutton. Hutton. We ain't going that low. Nah, that ain't gonna happen. We might go Hutton. What's Wall? 80. No trade value at all. Yeah, we'll send it. We'll send it. Short, short, short. Um, what do you guys want? I'm thinking, I'm thinking something real nice, like a 63 overall. How do you feel about that? You make that work, Vegas. I, you guys are a good team. You want this guy? Sure. Have him. You got boy you. I think it's boy you. We ain't French. Or Czechian or Swe I don't even know. It's French, right? I think that's French. We'll go with it. Let's go with it. Um, Winnipeg. Yeah, sure. Sure. Send it. Oh, okay. Now you're being greedy, Vegas. I think other things you can do with that six round pick. I bet you can pick up a lot of cute girls with that fifth round pick, Vegas. Or boys, if you're into that kind of thing. You know, it goes both ways, really. Um, Seattle, San Jose, Pittsburgh. Who has... Uh, the Rangers, do they have any lower-end guys possibly here? We do have some cap space to work with. That doesn't mean I want to go out there and waste it all on bottom six guys, though, if we don't have to. Let's try... Jeez, these guys are expensive. We ain't going to the Rangers. That ain't going to work. Let's try the Islanders. How are you guys... They have to have some cheaper guys, right? How you looking, Dodson? Dodson's not gonna work. We'd come back to Dodson though. Pago, Pago, Pad. That's eight five million. Never mind. I ain't gonna try to say that name right. Wallstrom. How's Wallstrom looking? Sniper. Dang it! I was thinking he's a sniper too. We can't do that. Uh, somebody's just gonna stick out and be like, "Yep, come take our players." Uh, Nick Cousins, maybe center potential there as well. Nope, playmaker. That's not gonna happen. Maybe we just built this a bit a little bit quicker. I thought we was gonna find one pretty easily, to be honest. Let's try Perot. Perot could be a good guy. Two-way forward. Can win draws to an extent. Let's try Perot. Perot's a little bit of depth action here for this team. We'll go overall. 57. That's a nice play to have. Did he have trade value? Heck yeah, he did. Take it. Add more 57. Nope, you can't have it because we'll be over the cap. Just kidding. Sorry, Montreal. False alarm. It's not going to work. Let's try... You guys want everybody. That's great. That is fantastic news. How do you feel about... Dang it, we can't move DeMello yet. We're going to move DeMello, though. We can move Hankins. Harkins. Harkins. Hankins. Who's Hankins? Hankins. Running back in college football, I think, right? No, it's Haskins. Who's Hankins? Hankins. 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 Logan Hankins? Is that Logan Mankins? Oh, we're asking you guys this. You guys don't watch the hockey. You get out of here, Todd. I don't want to hear anything about your Alabama players. No. Not today. Georgia's just bad at football, and you guys got lucky, all right? Cincinnati's got beat the living piss out of those guys. Can you say that on YouTube? Oh, we just did. Oh, yeah. Bearcats going to town in college football, baby. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. I cannot wait till they run the table in the SEC. I'm going to be such a happy camper. Is it going to happen? Maybe not. That defense is nasty in Cincinnati. I'll tell you what. Anything can happen. I love college football. Anything can happen in a year, though, where all these players got to come back on next year of experience and whatnot. Nonetheless, Winnipeg Jets. How's it looking? Should look better. Ewers, Cop, but Dubois, Lowry, uh, Perot. I like Riley Nash. Their Stassen's not bad. Sveshnikov's not bad. We'll see how these guys play out. You got Pionk and Theodore now. Plus five. Holding it down. Sure. I like what I see. I don't like seeing that bottom line where it is. And it's quickly going to change if it has to because DeMello is getting $3 million a year. But for now, I think we're going to run it. I think we're going to run it. We're going to see how these guys play. Again, we're trying not to make a lot of moves. As a Winnipeg, should be a Stanley Cup contender as is. Try to minimize the moves as much as possible. 
maybe get to the deadline, see how the team's looking. I think we can go that route. But, you know, if things don't fall apart, we'll be good there. And as per the usual, this has become a staple in franchise mode. Our team is starting the season slow. At this point, it doesn't even concern me. It seems like this happens every franchise build we've done so far, but where the team starts slow. I don't know why. I don't know the logic, but it does. It was five and six. They're now 10 and six. We'll see how they do in about a month and a half. Got to give them time to work the kinks out before we get a little crazier. Right, look at that. Win streak going right now for the Winnipeg Jets. Now 11 and six. Six games in a row, it looks like, here for the Jets. Did they beat the Blue Jackets. They did. All right, we took it to the deadline because the Winnipeg Jets playing some pretty good ball. Or as they call it in the hockey world, puck 38, 19, and five. I think what? I was kind of surprised when I seen the overalls of these Jets players. I really was. 81 points, first place in the division. Second place goes to the Blackhawks. Interesting. Blackhawks got a good team on paper, though, too, so they might seem up well. To an extent, I should say, at least. 38 19 5. 3.21 goals for, 2.66 goals again. So it's been a pretty solid team across the board. Their power play, 20%. Not bad. Penalty kill could be better. 80%, not the greatest. Could improve there a little bit. Jake, Jake Blake Wheeler with the flow going on. 59 points, 50 out of Shifley. Uh, Ehlers third or 50, 19 goals, 50 out of Connor, 49 out of Theodore. Cop playing really well. Whole team's playing really well. Where's the struggle bus at? Minus two in Smith. Uh, Smith, 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 Schmid, Schmid, Schmid. Uh, he's got some points going now. I ain't got to worry about that. Morrissey's been struggling a little bit. That was Morrissey, dude. 86 overall. Dang. Not bad. He trading that overall. Good luck. Perot's been minus one. Stanley plus eight. I really don't have anybody to mess with. I think we keep it. We, we got to try to keep that balance sometimes where we just don't trade away the whole system. I do want to take a look at how this team's doing from a penalty killing standpoint. I think that's an area we can improve. Maybe sub some things out in there potentially. Maybe got something working in there. We could also go. I, I don't think we need to go power play plus five. Wheeler, Shifley, Connor. Was that a plus five before? That's nasty. How are they a plus five and not putting up well over a point per game? uh again the game's been i don't know confusing to me to say the least because plus five on an 89 90 87 overalls already that's crazy none of our point per game so it was a shifley wheeler theater pionk okay so there's a start we can move connor to the first unit you're not going to be up here man pionk or theater i think pionk's the better player nine by 40 from an offensive standpoint eight nah it's going to be theater so we'll put you there connor you're right-handed right right and he's left-handed so you'll stay there now plus five that power play unit Four man Shifley again. We're gonna put Kyle Connor up here. Boost that up a bit. Penalty kill. We got Lowry Perot, Theodore Morrissey. Morrissey's been a negative player this year, so I think he needs to be moved. We'll move um we move Schmidt up there. I still think we need to leave Morrissey on the PK, being that he is one of our better defensemen, unless we have a better option here. Pionk. Again, Pionk, what? Defensive. Okay, I said offense. I said defensive defenseman. I don't think you put him on a penalty kill. How's he been looking this year? Just in case, though. 41 giveaways, 19 take. Yeah, we ain't about that. 19 takeaways, 86 or 65 blocks. Ain't horrible. How's the offense looking? There, you have Lowry, you have Perot. We can always swap that out if we have to. We put Cop up there, potentially. Plus one. How's Lowry looking defensively wise? We're talking 41 takeaways, 41 giveaways. So balanced there. 23 blocks, 73 hits. Um, Perot, how do you look? 35 by 31, so not as high, but he's just probably not playing as much. Uh, Andrew Cobb, how you looking? 55 takeaways, 53 gives. Pretty balanced across the board for all these guys, it's looking like here. But there ain't a huge difference. Uh, Waz has been playing a little bit better, it looks like. What did I say? 31 by, bring it back up. 31 by 27, by 14, by 82. Laying the body a little bit more. Take a look here. So somebody can potentially swap in. Ehlers playmaker, I don't really think that's going to be the way to go. I, Dubois might be good in a penalty kill. How's he been looking this season? 46 take. Yeah, let's put Dubois in a penalty kill. That's a start. We'll put Doobie in there. He might... Uh, we put him on a first unit kill? Yeah, let's put him up there on a first unit. Taking, I don't know if we could take draws. Look, can somebody else take him? 78, 74. We'll let Perot take the... Maybe we'll, maybe we'll let Lowry take him. 80 on the draws. Yeah, we'll let Lowry take him. We'll put Dubois there. You here. I think that'll improve a little bit there. Putting Dubois on that power play just to make sure that we ain't got anybody or not power play penalty kill. Just to make sure we ain't somebody else balling out over here. We need to know about how's Stastny looking. Stastny on the bottom unit. That's interesting as a playmaker. I don't usually work out too well, but he's been doing all right. 34 takeaways. 18. I want to put, I'm get Stastny here too. Why not? 85 draws. Let's get Stastny some playing time. 
We'll put Stasny there. I'll put him on a first unit up there with Dubois. We'll do Lowry Cop like that. Let's see how that works out. Lowry Cop, Theodore Morrissey, Stanley Schmidt. Again, yeah, we'll run that. It's a, it's a three man penalty kill. It doesn't happen too often. I think we're ready. Let's run out the rest of this season. I think we made the right decisions. We'll see. You never know. Again, I, I feel like if we go out and make a trade, it mess with the chemistry for a couple months or a week or two, and we miss playoffs or something. We're in first place. Sure, you want to make the little changes to buff things up, but a lot of our depth guys are playing exceptionally well. I mean, the really guy that really sticks out was what Morrissey, and we're not going to trade Morrissey. Beat the Bruins, big win. It'll be a solid for the day. Why not? Sounds like a good time. Yeah, I'm going to continue simming now. Got a game on trade deadline. Now, you can't be doing that. How are the boys going to sit at home and watch the trade deadline show if they're out there on the ice? Vegas, W, beating Vegas twice. Thank you for Shea Theodore. It's nice doing business with you guys. Blue Jackets, you got to sit down. Thank you for giving us Pierre Luke the ball. It's nice doing business with you guys. Um, Arizona, I don't know what you gave us, but thanks for the win. You gave us that, I guess. Buffalo, you give everybody everything, but I don't know if you ever gave us anything. 6 2 loss. They gave us a D or an L, 5 2 loss. A couple of losses in a row here. Winnipeg, just trying to hold on to first place in a division to go out and get home ice advantage throughout playoffs. And they got pretty favorable. I was going to say favorable, but they got Detroit, Seattle, Ottawa. Once you get past the, that, though, you got the gauntlet of Florida, Tampa, Rangers, Carolina, Colorado. Got to win these games right here. These are big games they got to win. Drop Montreal. Got to beat Seattle. I don't really have a choice here. Trying to hold first place in the division. Got a substantial lead on the Blackhawks. But things could get tough in a hurry. Team is playing tough against the Florida teams. You love to see that. Jets trying to vie for a President's Trophy right now, if I had to guess. Ain't getting a peek at the rest. And look at these guys getting hot, heading into the postseason. You like to see it. Colorado says, take this out. Not a big deal. Might have been resting some players. Got such a comfortable lead in this division. Going to play the Calgary Flames in the first round. Calgary, Winnipeg. Winnipeg's going to lose game number one in overtime. One day we will stop the sim before the first game gets in. But that's just not as exciting. How'd the improvements look? Wheeler's still 77 points. Still never ended up with a guy dropping over a point per game. 69 out of Shifley, 68 out of Ehlers. And the good thing was we had one, two, three, four, five guys with 24 plus goals on the season. Lots of guys contributing here. Lots of positive players. They might not have been well over a point per game, but that's because they look to be very good two-way players. Where they was not getting caught and make, taking them chances, but instead make sure they're getting back, helping the goalie out, playing some good defense. Can't go wrong with it. Morrissey ended up with a minus four, so he did improve to finish out this season. Again, look at that. You had Wah, Smith, Morrissey. Lots of guys putting the puck in the back of the net for this team. Good to see. How'd the goaltending look? Hellebuck, 9-13. Good. I'll take the mid-9-10, uh, mid mid-9-15 range there. Any day of the week. Why not? Team stats. How do we improve? Please tell us. Good penalty kill? Did we do a good GM job, EA? Come on, hit us with it. The goals allowed went up a little bit. So they're, like, they're like, no, no, you didn't. Power play went up, though, 23%. They like that. Penalty kill, 79.5. So it barely went down. I'm not going to mess with it. We'll leave it as is. Didn't get, you know, too hectic there. Calgary, though. How did that good draw Lindholm Kachuk line play this season? We are not going to find out. Nonetheless, 88, 87, 88. Good line there. You got to worry about those guys. Monaghan, Dubay, not bad themselves there. Blake Coleman down there, very good. Two-time Stanley Cup winner, Blake Coleman. Got to be careful for guys like that when you're going up against them in the postseason. Got to worry about Tanev Hannafin. I think their defense is a little bit weaker. This is a team that we should be able to beat. All things considered, Winnipeg's got an absolutely nasty offense. Been putting up goals at will this season. Calgary appears to be a team that gives them up. We'll see how the Winnipeg Jets play against them. Round one, lost game one, as we know, playing back-to-back -to, -back to start the series. Hopefully can take game number two against Calgary, and they will not. They're going to lose three straight games to the Calgary Flames. Winnipeg, all things going well all season. Absolute smoke show in the month of April on fire. And they are at risk of losing to the Calgary Flames in the first round. Morrissey with the goal. Monaghan with the goal. Period two. Winnipeg's going to take the 2-1 goal lead. Winnipeg. Or Pierre-Luc Dubois with the Geno there. 15 minutes left. Power play Jets. A little chance to get some insurance. Not going to happen. Hellebuck coming up strong there against Kyle Lington. Once again, they're on Kachuk. Play Coleman in the slot. Big save there by Connor Hellebuck. But there's the game tire. Matthew Kachuk. Power play Jets. Got to get one back. Chance to answer, but it has been all Calgary in the third period. We're going to go to overtime. Winnipeg had the lead, blew the lead, 2-1, at risk of losing in four games. 
to the Calgary Flames. Another power play for the Jets. Eventually, they have to do something on a power play. You cannot expect... Look at this. What's a four minute? They get a double minor and they got nothing. Another power play. Calgary has just been living in the box, but the Jets can't do it. There it is. Thank you. Mark Sipley from the point, knocking one in. Winnipeg still has life. 3-1 series, trying to come back. The reverse sweep, very unlikely, but very possible at the same time. Here we go. Game number five in Winnipeg. Chance to come back home, get a little momentum. You win game five, and all of a sudden you go to game six and say, hey, we're just two wins out. Take it game by game. Winnipeg, go to start the period. one nothing. Nikolai Ehlers. There we go. Winnipeg pulling away. 3-1. Kachuk with the goal. Winnipeg going to score again. Pionk empty netter. Insurance goal. Winnipeg right back in this series. 3-2. Heading to Calgary. Is it possible? You know the rumors, the hype. It's starting to swirl over in that Winnipeg locker room. You win this one. You take it to a game seven. And all of a sudden, the reverse sweep is complete. Wheeler, goal, one nothing. Calgary coming back. Kylington with the goal. Here we go. Big third period. Winnipeg with a chance to take this to a game seven. But Tyler, maybe Trevor could be it. Tuan. I don't know. Lewis says not so fast. Wheeler says we coming back, baby. So does Wheeler again. Two goals for Wheeler. Third period. Man, it's coming up hot. Power play Jets. Empty handed again. This Calgary Flames penalty kill has been nasty good. There's an Elias Lindholm goal. Game tied once again. Calgary going to jump back ahead here. Winnipeg at a 3-2 lead. Quickly though. Hannafin Lindholm on hella buck. And it's a 3-4 game. 3-5 game. And all of a sudden things are starting to come out of reach for the Winnipeg Jets. It felt so good all but five minutes ago. This team was in good shape. And then the wheels just fell off. Winnipeg would lose or give up. Four straight goals in the third period to the Calgary Flames and drop one to the Calgary Flames. But the Winnipeg Jets had the chance. Really good season. Going to get bounced in the first round by the wild card team. Chicago Blackhawks going to win the Stanley Cup. What a season. You said that to the Blackhawks the first 10 games this season, they would laugh at you. They're playing better ball though right now, I think, right? I want to call it ball. So can we please call it ball? This is a serious question. You guys are out there. I guess they say he's a good hockey player. I was going to say, you know, you talk baseball, he's a good ball player. Basketball, good ball player. Football, good ball player. You gotta call hockey. I don't call him a good ball player. Just saying. Appreciate that. Uh, Connor McDavid, Art Ross. Sounds about right. Memorial Ross or Memorial David Norris going to Fox. Lady Bing, good job, Bergeron, for being a nice fellow. Zegras with a caller. Guy's been playing filthy out there. Debrink out with a con Smythe. Besna going to Darcy Kemper. All right, Colorado, I see ya. Master Dunn going to Pollock Morrison with the Jack Adams. How did Buffalo do this season? Franklin Jay going to Ryan O'Reilly. He's been winning it a lot lately. McDavid to Lindsay, Richard, Ovi. No hardware for the Winnipeg Jets. That is going to wrap things up for this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate you consider subscribing, liking the video. Never have to. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.